Hello there everyone, my name is Lord Bud. Welcome back to another uh, video. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a tutorial um, on how to install World Edit. I have tutorials on how to use World Edit. But as it turns out, I didn't actually tell anyone how to install it. And so there were people in the comments who didn't realize. Anyway, yada yada, long story. I apologize to anyone who thought that that World Edit features were just a regular vanilla thing. Sorry about that. Here's the tutorial with you, for you. And with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, really quickly before we go ahead and start, um, all of the websites that we go to in this video will be linked down in the description below. And of course, while you're down there in the description, go ahead and slap that like button on your way through and the subscribe button if you really like it. So first, um, in order to install World Edit, we're going to be um, it, first installing AT Launcher, which is a mod launcher, and, uh, yeah, it'll make it a lot easier to install a lot of other mods as well, but for today, we're going to be installing World Edit. So, first, you're going to go to atlauncher.com, there's a link in the description below. You're going to scroll all the way down, if you're on Windows, you're going to click this Windows one. If you're on Mac, you're going to click this Mac one. If you're on Linux or other, you're going to click this Linux other one. I currently am on Windows, so I'm going to click the Windows one. This little thing should pop up um, somewhere around, depending on your browser. It could be different. I'm just going to click open when done, and I'm going to move on to another part of it. Now we're going to go over here to CurseForge, which is a great website for installing mods for different games. Um, I'm already to the World Edit page for it. Uh, link to this page exactly in the description. Um, now, this little box should pop up from AT Launcher. If it doesn't, then you're all set. But if it does, that's totally fine. Basically, press whoops. I'll change that later. Then make a folder. So just press new folder you can call it new folder or something or you can write uh at launcher or something like that um you can call it whatever you want and it doesn't matter where you put it for this example it's on the desktop but you can put it into your like your documents or something so go ahead and open it up here it is right here go ahead and open up your downloads folder as well Right here, you're going to find this atlauncher.exe. Slide that into there. Close it. And now you can open AT Launcher, And it will work just fine. But we'll go ahead and do that in a second. Open it back up here to World Edit. Click over on Files. Wait for it to load. Scroll down. Find the version of Minecraft that you want to play World Edit in. Which is all of them, incidentally. 116.3. Technically, I think 116.4 has a pre-release or something. But... I really doubt you're going to be doing that. So then just find whichever one you want. There's some fabric versions of it as well. We're just going to be using Forge. So we're going to click this little arrow. I'm going to say your download will begin in three seconds and it will count down. Then it should say downloading now and this will pop up. If it says it was blocked, that's fine. Just press keep. I'm currently using Microsoft Edge because I'm using Windows 10. And for some reason, Edge recently decides it doesn't like jar files that's fine this you don't need to press open you can just close it it's fine now we're gonna open up our at launcher folder we're gonna double click on at launcher we can close this folder now it's okay you will realize this folder is gonna get a lot of other folders in it that's okay at launcher is opening on my other screen it's asking if i wanted in Eng english that's fine so at launcher should open up and it should look like this There'll be this little boy here with the chat. Uh, that's fine. Or it's not a chat. It's a console. That's fine. You can just minimize it. You can yeah, you can even close it. That's okay. So first you're going to go over to accounts. You're going to want to add your account. You're going to type in your email and your password for your Minecraft account. So, you know, just go ahead and write your email. And then uh, obviously your password will say account added successfully switch to it now you'll press yes and then you'll see this stevie boy switch to your skin and that's fine my skin looks weird without the outer layers but whatever now you can actually start downloading mods you can click on packs 
find different mod packs and click featured packs find some featured mod packs we're gonna click on vanilla packs so we have just a regular minecraft in case you don't like loading minecraft out of your minecraft launcher then we have minecraft with forge we have minecraft with fabric then we have a vanilla minecraft alpha beta uh we're not gonna mess with that we're not gonna mess with fabric at least not today vanilla minecraft we're not gonna mess with that you probably already have that we're gonna click over to vanilla minecraft with forge we're gonna click new instance we're gonna name it something we'll remember like world edit and we're going to make it sure the version to install is the version of world that we installed we installed 116.3 i believe loader version we're going to make sure that is the top one then we're going to press install and it's going to start installing once it's done it'll say vanilla minecraft with forge 1.16.3 has been installed find in instances tab so we're going to press ok and we're going to slide over to the instances tab so you'll see i have a bunch of different instances here that's just because um i already had a t launcher but we're going to look for the one that we want which is this one now if we press play this is there's not going to be world edit in it at this point so we can click over here to open folder now in here we'll have disabled mods jar mods mods and instance.json double click on mods open back up your downloads find world edit which is this slide it up in here close this close that now it has world edit in it so we can press play and now we'll have minecraft loading up now all of your video settings and things are going to be different from how they are usually in regular Minecraft. So, uh, oh, yeah. So, they're gonna be different. You may not like that. Uh, your resource packs are going to be empty. Um, so you are going to have to go and add all of your resource packs if you use resource packs. Um, but we can just go ahead and press single player make it creative because uh world edit even though i think you can still use it in survival it's a mod for playing on creative mode let's be honest with ourselves now we can press create new world and we'll start creating a new world and now we spawn into a world my sensitivity is super low my controls aren't how i usually have them but world edit works we can start making things start making things with world edit quickly i will go ahead and show you guys how to add optifine to this because optifine is very useful for having high fps um and especially with a mod like world edit that can be minorly resource intensive so i'll go ahead and show you how to do that one thing i will mention very quickly here is this is a java edition thing this is this is not for bedrock edition there's probably something like this for bedrock and if you guys really want to see like a bedrock edition version of this style thing go ahead and let me know and i will figure it out for you guys so we're gonna slide over to optifine.net click downloads here's 1.16.3 we'll download it um, you can press download or if you've donated money to them like I have then you can press mirror if you press mirror and you haven't given them money you're a terrible person press keep close the magic the gathering ad if you press open you'll get this but uh, you can just you can just press cancel we don't need that so we're gonna go back to this um, open folder button where uh, you're gonna notice there's a lot more things now but uh, you can ignore those this is like saves so this is that world we made uh, resource packs if any resource packs if we take a screenshot then there will be a screenshot folder in here but we just want to click on mods we want to open back up our downloads we want to take and slide this optifine one into there we can close those 
Now, if we load it back up, now we can see it's loaded up. Uh, if we press options, click video settings, we'll see Optifine down here. And we can start adjusting all of our Optifine things. Let's, you know, get some frame rates because it's Optifine and we can. Uh, you know, you can dink with all of your Optifine stuff. But, uh, you know, if you just want to get better FPS basically go into the performance settings and turn everything on if you want a video about Optifine if you don't know much about Optifine and you want to know more about that let me know I will do a video about it because Optifine is pretty much the best now we can go ahead and load our world but yeah that's Minecraft that's Optifine that's uh a giant pillar of something and we need optifine so we can use things like this and uh so that way all we'll do is get an fps drop instead of our computer actually lighting on fire uh yeah this is not an optifine sales video this is something different but anyway what it also is this is the end of today's video so if you like the video of course go ahead and leave a like if you like it of course go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already uh if you want to see more videos like this where i show you how to install mods or more videos about mods go ahead and let me know um i do have a world edit tutorial series this is going to be in the same playlist as that so make sure you go check that out if you just brand newly installed world edit um, if you watch through that and there's something that you are unsure of how to do, drop it in the comments below. I think I've pretty much covered the majority of things. Oh, also, a quick a quick thing, a quick thing to say. Uh, it seems like a majority of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's you, why? Change that right now. Um, people like you are where all of my parents' disappointment for me derives from. Um, but anyway, in all seriousness, this has been it for me for now. So until next time, goodbye, everyone.